Welcome to Effective Use of Technology in the Classroom, Integrating Technology to Redefine Learning. Technology has permeated every aspect of our lives. It has changed the way we communicate, interact, study, and even shop. Every element of our society functions on a technology-based platform. These technologies have changed our lives, not because this is the way it was always done, but because these technologies are understood to be the best way to get things done. This is true for virtually every field, industry, and institution we have, except for one notable exception, education. Effective technology in our classrooms allows us to use technology to redefine learning for our students. Why should we worry about that? Because we know our students live in a technological world and integrating that technology into their learning is the best way to get things done. In his book, The EdTech Advocate's Guide to Leading Change in Schools, Mark Gora stated that technology use in our schools can be described as partially equipped, partially adopted, and partially understood. Until those three elements come together and form a cohesive unit, there will continue to be a disconnect between having technology and using technology effectively. The potential is there, but we have still not fully achieved what Gora calls a functional change in teaching and learning. When it comes to effective technology integration, one of the most pressing concerns is that teachers and administrators admit they lack a strong conceptual framework for how technology should be integrated. Classroom technology is still used overwhelmingly for presentations, drill and practice, and testing. Instead, we need to use it to develop 21st century skills like creativity, communication, and higher order thinking. Technology needs to be effectively integrated in the curriculum to help bridge real world learning and embed digital skills in the curriculum. The SAMR model was developed in 2010 by Dr. Ruben Patendura to demonstrate the impact that effective technology integration can have on learning. He addressed four degrees or levels of classroom integration, substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. Just as our students need to work through the phases of learning, we need to work through the phases of effective technology integration. These phases go from the most basic level of just using technology as a direct substitute for another tool or activity to effectively integrating technology into a classroom in a way that's transformative and redefines the learning experience. This allows students to relate to information in new ways and engage as part of a larger digital society. Many teachers find that comparing SAMR to Bloom's taxonomy helps them put things in perspective. Kathy Schrock, who is known for her incredible Guide to Everything, designed this great visual illustrating how you can use Blooms as a guide to understand the SAMR model. The idea of building upon foundational levels are similar. Start with the basics, remembering or substituting, and then build upon the levels of understanding to apply or augment learning. Then you can analyze and evaluate modifying lessons to integrate technology more effectively until you finally create something new that will redefine the learning in your classroom. Why is this redefinition of learning so important? Because traditional classrooms with teacher-centered pedagogies and students as recipients of information no longer fit. Today's students have access to information instantly, anytime and anywhere. So the role of the teacher as the sole transmitter of information is changing. The norm of students' lives revolves around instant access to information and consistent engagement with technology. And when our classrooms are disconnected from that norm, our students begin to disengage. We need to shift the focus and ensure that students are active participants in their learning. The challenge is for educators to integrate technology in an effective way that helps students develop the skills needed to be successful, creative, and critical thinkers in a digital world. Effective technology integration goes beyond just using technology and explores the ways technology can transform and redefine learning. What can we do with technology that wasn't possible without it? We can begin by changing the way things have always been done. Classrooms need to shift from teacher-centered to student-centered environments. We need to consider and allow for student choice 
and promote student autonomy. Students can no longer just be passive recipients of information. They need to be active participants in learning. And that means finding ways to make learning more engaging, authentic, and relevant to students. It is essential that schools veer away from methodologies that worked when we were educating a different type of student for a different role in society. Today, students are part of a global digital world. We need to move beyond what we always did and find ways to engage them more deeply in collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. We need to create authentic learning experiences that are relevant to the digital world they live in and provide opportunities for them to apply their learning in a variety of ways. Because students are part of a global digital world, it is essential that digital citizenship skills are embedded across the curriculum. We've moved past the point where digital citizenship is someone else's responsibility. Digital citizenship is an essential part of education, crossing all content and curriculum, and must become part of every classroom. It is the continuously developing norms of appropriate, responsible, and empowered technology use and the ethics, concerns, and opportunities associated with living in a digitally engaged society. Educators need to help students understand and participate in this digital society as active, informed, and responsible citizens. ISTE, the International Society for Technology and Education, has developed a list of standards to guide educators in improving technology integration in their classrooms. ISTE calls upon educators to improve their practice, design authentic learner-driven activities, and to inspire students to positively contribute to and responsibly participate in the digital world. This is the goal of technology integration, transforming education to better prepare and serve the students of a global digital society. Thank you for joining us today. Please visit our website at go.rowan.edu backslash LRC South to view additional modules.